What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're back with a brand new WWE Ultimate Edition review on the Target Exclusive Legends WWE Ultimate Edition Ultimate Warrior. Now this is a figure that has a lot of cool things about it. Some cool updates. We have a brand new tan going on with him. Never seen an Ultimate Warrior from Mattel in this tan before. And he looks super vibrant. I mean look at the coloration you have going on right here between the bright greens, orange, blue, pink. Checking all the boxes for Ultimate Warrior. I'm actually kind of intrigued with this figure to see how it looks. You know it's actually looking better better in person than it did in the promo images that we saw way back at what San Diego Comic-Con so I'm excited for this one man we got some interest gear kind of looking like major glory or something over there so I'm excited for it but this is hitting retail stores so or retail stores I say retail target stores because this is a target exclusive Brad but taking a look at the figure man I mean he is just a uh, I don't know he's just looking beastly look at this guy check out the boot detail down there nonetheless as you guys can see the border of this figure is red with white accents because target if you were unaware exclusive ultimate edition to other things that are not mainline they always have a red base with white accents and then mainline ultimates usually have white main color with red accents so that's just something to look out for but on the side you got a nice shot of warrior legends logo up top you do have a shot of the figure there and then a shot of warrior right there which looks pretty good man pretty i don't know man. I'm, I'm hyped to get into it of course this i'm pretty sure he leads ultimate editions him and uh, and him and hulk hogan do lead ultimate editions i'm sure i think macho man has three hulk hogan has four i think five if you're counting like the best of that's getting re-released i believe now maybe that's his dude no hulk hogan definitely has the most you have the coliseum collection the ultimate edition series 13 the san diego comic-con exclusive the amazon exclusive fan takeover the nwo hollywood hulk hogan the best of hollywood hulk hogan so yeah he's definitely leading but nonetheless ultimate warrior has a lot as well i think this is his fourth ultimate if i'm not mistaken so now let's just shut the hell up and crack him out of the packaging how about that so here is the Target Exclusive Legends Ultimate Edition Ultimate Warrior figure out of the packaging, man. Really loving the coloration. The first thing you're going to notice about this figure is it's hella bright. It's very, very bright. It stands out. I think it's going to stand out on a shelf or a display if you were to grab this figure. Of course, again, it is Target Exclusive, so if you guys hit up your Target stores, it should be hitting. It's weird because my Target is usually on top of putting things out, and they haven't put out any of the new Legends. They put out one Legends Hulk Hogan, and that is it. And so that is the point that, uh, you know, that just sucks. It, it, you hate to see that, of course. But nonetheless, man, we're going to dive into the accessories you get with the Ultimate War, and then we're going to take a closer look at the figure itself, of course, and take a look at some comparisons up next to some other Ultimate Warriors, and maybe some other guys. So let's shut the hell up and dive into it. Alright, man, so getting into the accessories you get with the Ultimate Warrior, kind of light, to be honest with you. It's it's very light. Two pairs of interchangeable hands, two interchangeable heads, and cloth goods. I mean, kind of light. Not going to lie to you there, Brad. No championship, not three heads, and not three pairs of interchangeable hands. So they kind of, I don't know, man. I feel a little slighted. No gorilla press hands? I don't know. I am offended. Now getting into these head sculpts, I, I like these head sculpts. I don't think they're egregious or they, I don't know. This one, I'm not, I kind of like this one better than the screaming one, which is kind of rare for me I feel like, but the bangs look good. I love the dry wash or the dry brushing over the hair. Face paint looks really clean. You don't get like a battle damage version in this one. I think they nailed the face paint though from the references I've seen. I think it looks really, really good, but you do have your like screaming expression there and then you're kind of like, I don't know, mid, I it's like he's smiling, but he's kind of pissed off, but he's kind of like got that crazed stare. So I think these get the job done for the most part. They're pretty nice. I, you know, I don't have like a war with them, but I like them. I think they, you know, they check the boxes, I think. Ultimate Warrior Connoisseurs can let me know what you think down below. Now we also get his entrance duster or coat. Now we have seen very similar things like this in the past from Mattel. The one that really comes to me is the ringside exclusive. I think it was what, WrestleMania 12 Ultimate Warrior? And it looks really good. Of course, he was teaming with Hulk Hogan. And I do believe this is from 1991 SummerSlam or SummerSlam 91. And it looks good. You got the masks on there, the logos, the stars and stripes. It says Warrior Wildness. Warrior Wild. I don't know. That doesn't really flow off the tongue for me. Then Hulkamania over there. And then you flip it on the back and you have the Warrior Mask logo. You got the stars. You got the green collar that looks good. And of course, all of this is airbrushed. All of his gears were always airbrushed and they looked really, really good. But you get in there, you can see Warrior. You can see a caricature of Hulk Hogan as well. And then you have like this ripping slash explosion. It looks like a wrestler guy getting blown away. It kind of looks like Sarge, which would make sense. And yeah, it looks pretty good right there. I like that. So yeah, this is a pretty nice duster, I'd say. Good quality. It's like that faux leather type material. Very stretchy. I mean, don't stretch it too far. You rip a damn hole in it, but you know what I mean. And we will take a look at what it looks like on the figure itself, but it's a very nice accessory. This is always good quality, and it's nice to have this with an Ultimate Edition. Now besides that, you get interchangeable fisted hands to beat the hell out of people, and you get interchangeable mic-holding hands or weapon-wielding hands or, you know, 
know, the Michael holding hands make the world go round. You love to see these. All right, man, so getting into the Ultimate Warrior, starting out with the head sculpt. I like these head sculpts, I think, for the most part. They look better than the Man on the Wing head sculpts we got from his Ultimate Edition 15 Ultimate Warrior figure that we saw in the series with Brock Lesnar. Definitely like these head sculpts more than that one. But the face paint looks good from the references, like I stated. I mean, the outline may have been black on this attire instead of this royal blue color, but I could be wrong. I'm sure they have better references than me, but sometimes they don't, Brad. Sometimes I know more than them, okay? Don't let that get twisted. Especially on certain characters, bro. Don't test me, Bradley. But, uh, like I said, the draw brushing looks good. I really like the hair sculpt. Hair sculpt looks really good, especially for the time. But we have the same Ultimate Warrior torso. Now, this is the torso that I think works for guys like this, man. I know we always talk about this torso being hideous. It's only hideous on guys that it can't fit, and they put them on really skinny legs. This torso fits Ultimate Warrior. Honestly, this may not even be jacked enough for Ultimate Warrior. The man was about to pop at the seams, man. Jesus in heaven. But the coloration on the bands looks really clean. You guys can kind of see that skin tone coming through there, the butterfly fly joints. He's got the jacked arms. Very Toyota guy, right? He's got his bicep bands that are articulated here. He also has his wrist gauntlets that have the fringe on there with the logos. He's also got all of the, like, dude, the colors are amazing. They pop off really nicely. And I don't think my camera really does it justice because of the lighting and everything like that. Very standoff. I mean, it stands out hella hard. It's crazy at the amount of coloration you get right here. Very saturated, very clean. I like the uh, crotch piece right here because this is from that Survivor Series Elite we got last year, I think it was which I really like. That's one of my favorite warriors I think they've ever done. Very clean there. I like the thighs here, which look good. He does have the drop-down hips. We're going to get into the articulation in a moment, but he does have the drop-down hips. On the back, he does have the stars there, which look clean. Very, very nice stuff going on, man. Man, it's crazy. Very 90s vibes going on with this guy. Love the knee pads with the warrior masks on there. Then, oh my god, the fringe little tassels came out. You guys know they've been including that since the first Ultimate Edition Ultimate Warrior, where you can port that in right there and you can make it look like he's running. So that's cool. Or if he's upside down, or you know what I'm talking about. But then you get down to the boots, he's got the pink faded tassels there. Look, look really, really clean. Remind me of cotton candy or something. And then he has his airbrushed boots that have a lot of cool lightning designs. And then it even has the warrior logos on the toe. So a lot of paint detail going on on this guy. It's very crazy. Now as far as your articulation, it's still just a ball joint here. He does have the butterfly joints. I mean, they have released warriors that have this same articulation, but I wanted to show off the drop down hip here and I don't like the kick forward it can't really kick forward even though it does have the drop down hip so it's like why is that even a thing I low-key feel like the leg's gonna snap and like he can split fine but as far as like a kick forward man I don't like it and like the more I sit here and do this I feel like it's gonna snap at any moment you guys can kind of see the drop down hip there and you know you got to kind of like finagle that to get it uh back into place and his kick forward is very lackluster to say the least it doesn't even go to 90 and even if you do drop down that hip hip there you're gonna have to it, yeah i wouldn't push it forward i would grasp it here and move it forward so drop it down push it forward while holding on here and you can get it higher but i don't know it just feels like it's gonna snap in any moment and then i wouldn't just put it back down like this before you so if you're here don't just push it back down into place you need to push it into the hip socket then rotate it down and that will uh, make it where it doesn't snap but no promises it does feel very finicky and that makes me scared for the figure but uh figure aesthetically does look pretty damn good. I mean, look how bright he looks. It's kind of crazy, but nonetheless, let's shut the hell up and get us some Ultimate Warrior Ultimate Edition figure comparisons. All right, man, so for your Ultimate Warrior Ultimate Edition figure comparisons, here is every Ultimate Edition Ultimate Warrior that we got, and of course, if we would have funded the crowdfunder Nitro stage that makes me sick, we would have had that extra one. I guess if we got 10,000 backers, you know, we got, what, short of 4K? We needed 5K, I think. Damn, I'm so disappointed. When I was building my arena, man, for the room tour, like getting my arena reset back up of course, for filming and whatnot. I was sitting here, like, building my stage, and I was thinking to myself, damn, how nice would it be to have that Nitro stage right now? And, of course, it wouldn't be available to us. It'd be coming soon, but I was a like, man, dude. It would have been so nice to get that in here. God, what a failure in a lot of ways. But it is cool to see these Ultimate Warriors up next to each other. I do like the new skin tone in it. It honestly, you like, you think this is tan, and then when you see this, you're like, okay, this isn't even tan. So that's what's crazy. So, yeah, I guess, it, I mean, honestly, like, do I think you need to just take this and and sell the rest of your Ultimate Warriors in your collection? No. But I mean, if you're picking one Ultimate Edition, not Elite, if you're picking one Ultimate Edition, I would 
probably go with this one. I really like the Ultimate Edition 15 a lot, but I'm not big on the head sculpts. I don't really care for the head sculpts. I think he looks like the man on the wing from the Twilight Zone. But this one right here looks very good amongst the rest. It's very crazy. This one's just lifeless. I can't stand this one. If I had to rank these, you'd just switch these. So it would be Amazon Exclusive Fan Takeover, Ultimate Edition Series 1, Ultimate Edition Series 15. And if this had like the, I guess the best of version of this figure would probably be higher than the Ultimate 15. Because I really like the gear here and the entrance thing. But I don't know, this 15 is very colorful as well. But yeah, this one would be the best Ultimate Edition Ultimate Warrior I think we've seen. And then for more Ultimate Warrior figure comparisons, here's sort of like a skin tone comparison. And so you have the brand new Ultimate Warrior in the middle. Then you have another Ultimate Edition Ultimate Warrior where you could actually see the tan. I didn't want to use the one with all the entrance garb on there because you couldn't really see it. And then you have the Mega Powers Ringside Exclusive 2-Pack Elite Macho Man that had kind of the updated tan or the newer tan. Then you have the Ultimate Edition 13 Hogan that had, you know, the sort of orangish hot dog tan. Then you have sort of the sandy brown tan, I guess, that came with the three-pack of Hogan's here with the 40th anniversary pack. And a lot of people are probably wondering, like, what tan is this? How does it compare to other skin tones? And this is it up next to the first rendition of the Hulk Hogan tan. And this one looks okay. It's definitely not the same exact tan. But then if you bring this one up, I think these are slightly different. I don't think these are the same. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but it's hard to tell in person. I would say that the warrior here is a little bit more saturated than this. The Hogan is not as saturated, I think, as the Hulk Hogan is, but it could be the coloration, but this one has bright yellow on, so I don't know either, but I, I just wanted to get that across here in the video. I don't think they're the same skin tone, but if they are different, they're very, very close, very slightly different. If you put this Hogan head over here, I don't think you'd be able to tell the difference at all. But I think that about wraps it up for our Ultimate Edition Legends Target Exclusive Ultimate Warrior figure, man. Of course, again, this is our fourth rendition of an Ultimate Edition Ultimate Warrior figure. And I do like this. You know, the updated skin tone is the biggest difference between it. And I think it's going to be very interesting to see if they keep the tan moving forward. I think that's going to be a really interesting development. Are they going to keep it moving forward? You know, we kind of saw with Macho Man, didn't they flip-flop? They kind of went to it and then came back to the regular skin tone. And I don't, I hope they don't do that. I really would like them, if they're going to commit to it like this and with Hulk Hogan, they might as well keep it across the board. Do I like it? I mean, I guess it's okay. Like, I think it's pretty accurate to the source material. But I don't know. Like, I don't think it was necessarily necessary or a thing that needed to be implemented. But I think it's all right. You know, it's a, it's a little bit of a, a different take. It really makes the colors stand out. It's kind of crazy, the contrast that you get. But it does stand out on the shelf, like I said. I think if you're an Ultimate Warrior guy, you're really going to like the figure. And I like how bright it is. I like how colorful it is. You know, I've never been a big Ultimate Warrior guy. I definitely like Hulk Hogan more than Ultimate Warrior. However, it is a cool piece. I do like the bright coloration, like I said. And I, you know what? If you if you haven't grabbed any Ultimate Edition Ultimate Warrior before now, I do like this one. I like this one's head sculpts. I like this one's attire. So I think that it may be better than uh, this. I think it's fair to say this is the best Ultimate Edition Ultimate Warrior. I really like the first rendition, like the re-release with the newer torso and butterfly joints. But this one is also very good. And I, and I can appreciate it. I think it's a solid football figure. Now, will it be on our top 10 Ultimate Editions of 2024 at the end of the year? I don't know. I guess we'll have to see about it, but I think it's a fair take on Ultimate Warrior. I enjoy the figure, but to replace every Ultimate Warrior in your collection? I don't know about that one. I, I, I don't know. I think there are better Ultimate Warriors out there. I think there are elites out there that are better than this one. However, I do enjoy the figure, and if you guys would like to add it to your collection, it is Target Exclusive Legends, of course. Lots of detail on here. And a fair play at an Ultimate Warrior. But that is pretty much going to wrap up my video on this review, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy the review. I'd like to know all of your thoughts on this figure down below. Have you picked it up? Have you passed on it? Have you seen it at retail? I have actually... I went to grab some Legends figure and I found three of these sitting on a cart at Target randomly. So they weren't put on the shelves. I grabbed two of them, left the one, haven't seen it since. So I guess maybe somebody else found the other one, I guess. But I went ahead and cashed in my money in the bank briefcase because I didn't know if I would have another opportunity to grab it. But I did grab one for the men on card set and one for the loot set, but nonetheless, I'm getting the hell out of here. Huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. I appreciate every single one of you fellas, man. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support on the channel. Looking forward to the adventures this year. But that pretty much wraps up my review, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.